So, guys, you know what? I went for a walk with my daughter. We've been looking for her kid, and it's been lost for about, like, about seven, no, about five days, I should say. And I told my daughter, let's go out for a walk today. I've been walking by, mostly by myself around my neighborhood, but I'm taking a little step today, and I was, I'm going to the woods and all that, and I'm doing a little nature trail. Um, it's blocked off. Yeah, let me go turn this around. So this used to be all for bikes and all that. Going to the woods, there's trails. Now it's all like blocked off with bamboo sticks. And I would just tell my daughter about these bamboo sticks. If you ever have an enemy or, per or neighbor you don't like, just throw a bunch of these in the back and they start growing like wildflowers. Wild fires. So, uh, so I said, there's one thing you definitely never want to do is uh, get these bamboos in the back of your yard. Because sure enough, my friend can tell you, John, he can tell you how bad these bamboo sticks get. And he can put on the comment of how he got rid of her or did he get rid of it. I forget. But you definitely don't want bamboo sticks in your backyard because they just keep on growing. And you can't get rid of them because... Um, well, Dad says the only two ways to get rid of it is a professional or burn it. I figure probably burning it and burning it would actually get rid of it. But my friend, like I said, my friend John would know more about these bamboo sticks. But this is a shame. I mean, I used to remember coming down here. I mean, I can't even do it now. Look, look what they did. They put the bamboo sticks down there. So no bikes, no nothing. I mean, they really ruined. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe it's over there. Maybe I made a mistake. Let's go check it out. All right. Maybe I was incorrect, but that's kind of looks like it. There's a house. Huh? Four. I haven't do videos in a long time. Well, for, for a couple weeks now. So at this point, I think today I would have been at the gym, but the coronavirus is out there. So if I get it, my immunity system should be perfectly fine with it. But I got to think about my parents. My friends, family, I mean, my dad is diabetes, so I definitely don't need him to get it. And I was totally incorrect. It's here. This is awesome. So I was wrong. I admitted to it. This is it. Used to take my bike, used to ride down here. Me and my friend Mike Killick, Kevin, and his other brother used to ride our bikes. We took a 10 speed. You know the thin tires, the real thin tires? I took it over there and it bent the whole rim. But, hey Rosalind, good play. Just don't get hurt. You can play. Just watch out for glass. But this is pretty cool. You know what, I'm thinking about going down there. I go down there with you, but I want you to do this on your own. Daddy used to do this when he was a kid. <clears throat> if you fall on your butt, you'd be fine. I'm glad I was so incorrect. Just watch out for the wolves too. There's wolves? I'm just kidding. There probably is, but I'm, I'm kidding right now. Yeah. Wolves aren't not sure. So, so a little nature walk. All right. Like I said, Daddy used to be going down here when I was a kid. Okay. Um. All right. You don't get this uh, luxury a lot, so you know what? Why not? Right. What is that? It looks like firm. It looks like stuff. Huh, somebody's pillow. Trees down. All right, come on. All 
All right. Now, mostly when I go back here, I never went up this far. Mostly it's just stayed back there, but this is really nice. See, this is why they should never cut trees down because it's so nice out here. All right, there's a, see, people take their bikes. Look, look at this. You see that trail? Fresh bike trails. Yeah. Fresh bike trails. Yeah, fresh bike trails. They take their bikes back there, they ride it back here, but you see, when they cut the forest down, they're cutting away the people activity with the what we do. I mean, look at the backyard. You see those all those nice houses? That used to be all forest. And it was so awesome walking about there in the trails. Now that's all gone. But this is what dad used to do mostly every week. Come back here, walk back here. I'm kind of glad they didn't cut these down. See, I never went back this far. This is my first time going back here this far. I must just stay up there because, like I said, riding a bike and all that, jumping off ramps. Yeah, look at that. See, this is another problem. It mittens ran away. Mittens also can go here. Yeah. And if mittens goes back here, I hate to say it. We won't be able to find it? No, we won't be able to find it. But what people said on the internet, the cat was, the kitten would stay at least about four houses away from our house. But I don't know about that. This thing was in, this kitten was an outside kitten. So it knows how to survive in the world. Money Prime was so lovable too. Oh my God, check this out. Found a chair back here. A chair? What's back there? More bike trail, you see this? More bikes. Whoa, there's a deer. There's a deer. A deer? A deer. We just saw a deer. A deer? Yes, I'm hoping I got that on video. But we just saw a deer. I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, now you know what? I should Google, does deer attack? Hey, there's a comment on the bottom. Does deer attack when they see you? Or they just run away? I'm talking about the mailbox. You didn't see the deer? All right, let's call mommy. I was like, if you slip on the leaves, don't worry about getting hurt. Actually, sure enough, you probably have a you probably have a good laugh if you fall down the leaves. But let's not fall down the leaves. Let me see. You can do this. You can. Oh, you got this in the bag. Oh my gosh, you did it without slipping. Good job. <laughs> I did it. All right, up the hill. Yeah. All right. I think we have our nature today. What's that? I remember stuff we got at the beginning. I know where we're at. I'm playing around, Rose. I'm just playing. I know where we're at. We're not lost. All right. No need to worry or get worried. All right. 
Yeah, I'm just surprised I actually didn't slip. Um. What's a BB gun? Yeah. It shoots little top copper like balls and they pump the gun. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. We're too far away from the houses. What's back here? So houses? that's what mommy said. If mommy said there's houses back here, well, I just got the phone with her. All right. I don't see any more deers. All right, we're gonna cut off here because everybody saw this part already. All right, hey Rose. So we did our um. So we're going back home because um, we had a little emergency. Won't say what it is. But this is the end of the video. I'm hoping that you guys love it. We're going to do another video in that woods. This time we're going to make a right, not a left. Um, me and my other daughter will be there, hopefully. When she sees, get your finger out of your mouth. Sorry. You never know your finger's been at. Silly. No sticking your fingers in your mouth. Not wrong with a zombie popolips. You got it? It's not a zombie popolips. <laughs> Well, it's kind of like a zombie popular with this whole coronavirus. So, so you know what? You can't go into the gym. You can't really go to Puggle too much because you don't want to get the sickness. But you know the best thing you can do? Is take a walk for nature. Right? Oh, right. if you're wondering why I'm doing this video right here, that's my friend's house. Way back. This used to be all woods and all that. And this was the only, only house in the woods. But now it's all like development you can see. But, I thought I'd do it here because I miss this house. This is where I was a kid. This is the place I used to go. Hang out with my friend Mike, Kevin, Don, and Big Mike. Used to have a trampoline back there. Used to have a pool. Lots of memories. Just like that woods I just showed you. A lot of memories. So if you guys want to do something, you don't want to be in the house with this whole um, coronavirus, I advise, take a walk. Um, I didn't see nothing that says you get sick with the air. Only pee by people. So take a walk, go to nature, look and explore what's around the earth. You, you will never believe what you can find. Say bye. And you get your fingers back in your mouth again. No, I'm playing with my jacket. So with all that being said, guys, stay healthy, stay safe. And if you do got the coronavirus, don't spread it. So just stay in the house because you know what? You can, maybe can survive it. But other people who are really sick probably won't survive it. Peace out. One last thing before I really say goodbye. You know what's right now what's important? I gotta go back in the house. There's one thing I did forget what's really important. Water. So with all that being said, guys, make sure you're drinking plenty of water and make sure you're eating right. Right? Right. Peace out.